water temperatures in and around Australia's Great Barrier Reef have risen to their warmest in 400 years, according to new research. And that's putting the world's largest living ecosystem under threat. The climate will continue to warm into the, into the next century. And unless we are able to stabilize at 1.5 degrees or lower in the coming decades, um, the future of the reef is most certainly in danger. A group of scientists at universities across Australia drilled cores into the coral. Similar to counting the rings on a tree, the scientists analyzed samples to measure summer ocean temperatures dating back to 1618. They also looked at ship and satellite data going back around 100 years. The results show ocean temperatures were stable for hundreds of years. But from 1900 onwards, temperatures began to rise as a result of human influence, the research concluded. Benjamin Henley is one of the study's co-authors. I think this is, is such a massive challenge that every single person on earth needs to contribute to it. And I mean, uh, individuals all the way up to the world's governments at, at our um, um, UN scale meetings. Uh, the urgency uh, would not be higher right now and the need for coordinated action is, is so urgent. From 1960 to 2024, scientists observed an average annual warming for January to March of 0.22 degrees Fahrenheit per decade. Henley says the last temperature data point from January to March of this year was the highest on record. The reef has also experienced five summers of mass coral bleaching since 2016. Coral bleaching is when large sections of the reef turn white due to heat stress, putting them at greater risk of death. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says at least 54 countries and regions have experienced mass bleaching of their reefs since February 2023. I think we need to be looking at all reefs as in danger. Helen McGregor is one of the study's co-authors. Science is pointing very clearly to the reef being in danger and elevating that status, I think, is not blaming any particular government, but it's a it's a rally call to the world that, that mm. we need to be reducing our emissions urgently, immediately.